Let's go ahead and take a look at the Lithionics battery app. Now you will need to download this and uh, we will definitely give you some instructions on how to download it from the uh, Google Store uh, or the iTunes App Store. Uh, once you have it, you would just simply click the app. Once it pulls up, it's going to Bluetooth connect to any battery in the vicinity. So you will need to make sure that you get the number of your battery. Uh, the number of your battery is located on the top of the battery itself. Uh, and you would just find that number and then locate it uh, on the phone. Once you locate it on the phone, you'll select each battery. Now this goes into each individual battery itself. It does not look at this as a, a battery bank. Uh, but once you're inside, you can take a look. It shows you what the current voltage is. If there's any current, either um, a load is going to show as a red number, uh, which means you are drawing from the batteries. Anything showing in green is going to show that the batteries are charged. Now, this particular one is at 100% right now, so there's no real charge state, and there's no load coming on the battery. Uh, we can also see the battery temperature in here. Uh, and how, how much time we have left roughly um, with the current state of the battery and the current load. Uh, you can also see any status codes uh, if something's going on and of course the state of the battery is on. You can scroll to the next screen, get a little bit more information broken down in a table view. You can actually see each individual cell uh, inside the app itself. So you can see each cell and what the voltage is in that. Uh, once you've checked one, uh, roughly both batteries should look the same. However, you can choose the other, uh, go into it and take a look at what that battery shows. Uh, this one roughly is the same. We see roughly the same voltage, no current draw right now, uh, and the battery temperature is fairly the same between the, the two of them. Uh, once you're done, you can just simply uh, close the app. Now, I would like to tell you, once you log into this battery on this device, if you have more than one uh, device, a uh, um, tablet and a phone, this device is currently locked. A tablet will not be able to even see this battery to log into it until I get completely out of it and disconnect from the app, uh, which would actually have to be closed completely out.